Hey Peace Tribe, welcome back to another Peaceful Ambition video. As some of you may or may not know, my name is Tiara and I am Miss Peaceful Ambition. <laughs> so guys, today we are back with another topic, another video, another conversation. So make sure you guys comment down below anything that you want to add. And if you're not already subscribed, ring that bell please <laughs> and also share this video guys you never know how i can help someone else so we want to share 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 today guys we're going to be talking about five things that can help us to change our doubt to determination so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it peaceful ambition let's go <laughs> So before I get started with my five points of helping us change our doubt to determination, I just want to tell you guys something first. You know, doubt can really, really eat at you. You know, if you are doubtful of something or just doubtful about a situation, especially if it's something that you want to go for your dreams, go for it. Don't let doubt stop you. A lot of times we have doubt and we talk ourselves out of something that can be beneficial to us, that can help us in our life, that can raise us to another level. But because we are fearful, because we are second guessing ourselves, and because we have that doubt, we don't go for it. And we find ourselves in the same situation. Guys, when you feel that doubt, let that be the sign to push yourself even more, to go forth with what you're trying to achieve and to do it. You know, that doubt is trying to hold you back, but break loose. Let it be like change. You know, the doubt is holding you down. But you know what? I got doubt. No, this means I need to go for it. I'm going to break loose of my chains, of my mental chains, my physical chains, whatever it is that's holding you back, guys. Don't let that doubt hold you back. If you're feeling the doubt, go for it. That means you may be doing the right thing. So I just wanted to let you guys hear that before we got into it because, you know, I myself have doubt a lot of times. That's why I really wanted to bring up the situation because I caught myself doubting myself in the situation. So I said, you know what? No, I can't have this doubt near me. I can't have it on my shoulder. I can't have it in my head because all it's going to do is weigh me down and make me slow down and stop me from what I really want to do. Instead, I'm going to lift it. I'm going to use that doubt as gas to put in my car and to zoom off down the road and zoom off down the lane that I want to go on, the path that I want to go on. Guys, we had to be undoubtful we have to go for it we can't be scared of what there is the unknown because if we are scared then everything is going to be unknown to us we have to continue to push now let's talk about our five points okay so the first key to help us with turning our doubt into determination is going to be our perspective now i mentioned this before in my other videos guys the perspective that you have on your life and also yourself is so powerful if you have a perspective of yourself that you know whatever you do you're not going to achieve or you're just not good enough to do things or you're not smart enough you're too weak or whatever the case is guys if you believe that or that's the perspective that you have of yourself that's what you're going to be if you believe that you are strong you're independent and there's nothing in your way that can stop you that's who you are going to be guys we have to change the perspective that we have on ourselves if we feel doubt and we feed into that doubt that's what we're going to be we're going to be what we feel you know we have to go ahead and know that i am worthy of this there is nothing that's going to hold me back there is nothing that's going to tell me that i can't do it not even myself a lot of times we have that doubt in our head like i said and we don't go forth with whatever we're trying to do so we have to dig deep and find out why we have this perception of ourselves. You know, why do we feel like, you know, where we are in life is the best as we're going to get? Why do we feel like we can't push to have more? You know, I, I know deep down inside of me, I have a person. Well, I have a thought of a person inside of me who I want to be. If that makes sense, you know, I want to be this person that's so outspoken. I want to be this person that walks in the room and knows my confidence and knows my self-worth. I want to be this person that, you know, that is just better than who I am. But I know that this person is inside of me and I have to bring her out even more. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to pull her out slowly but surely by doing these videos and doing different things. I know that I'm growing. I know that I'm going to turn my determination um, up even more. You know, there's things inside of you that you know you have to do, but a lot of people just don't pull it out of them. So this is my message to you. Pull it out of you. 
Be that person that you want to be. Be that person that you visualize to be. Not what other people call you to be or think who you are. You know, the other day I was talking to a, um, one of a uh, member of the Peace Tribe and she was telling me that, you know, she changed herself. She felt like she changed herself. But the people around her are still seeing her as the old creature that she was before. And I told her, if they're not feeding you or taking care of you on a daily basis, and even if they are, so what? They are not you. It is not who you answer to or no what is it it's not who they call you it is who you answer to so if they're saying you know this is you and this is how you are and then blah 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 it doesn't matter what they say about you it's who you feel you are you know if you say that hey i change i don't do those things anymore and then you have a friend saying girl please you'll be at it next week you'll be this the best thing for you to do is to prove it show that you're not going to do it anymore if i say that i'm not doing it anymore then i'm not doing it anymore and if you don't believe in me then all i can do is show you and if you still see that i'm doing what i'm supposed to do and you still want to be that person to try to push me back make me go backwards in life, then we don't need to be together because I am changing my perspective on me. And if you still have that perspective of me, then we need to cut ties because if, if you're not able to cut ties and see that I'm a changed creature every day that I wake up and I'm trying to be better and I'm trying to, you know, have all this doubt out of me and change it to uplift myself and you're still down here and thinking that I should be down here with you, then we don't need to be friends. We don't need to be in the same circle because I'm about leveling up and if you're not about leveling up we're not going to be down here together nah boo boo <laughs> so guys we have to dig deep find the issues that we have within ourselves and really try to fix them we really have to know ourselves and know what we deserve and how we're going to get it you know like i said easier said than done of course because we all have issues we all have things buried within us that's hard to even you know bring up a lot of times but we have to try we have to try to be that person that we really want to be or we're just going to be living our life the same old same and I definitely don't want that for anybody. You know, we don't want to live the same old same life. We want to make our life better every day, even if it's just steps, baby steps. It doesn't matter. So guys, change your perspective. That's just the one key point of changing your doubt to determination. Okay, so now key point number two with changing your doubt into determination. So guys, a lot of times we are so hard on ourselves. We are our worst critic. Guys, we have to learn how to stop being so hard on ourselves. You know, a lot of times when you have doubt, it's because you're, you know, you have that fear of I'm not good enough or I'm not going to be able to handle everything. And that's just being hard on yourself. No, you are good enough and you can handle it. You know, you have to believe in yourself. You can't be that critic that is knocking yourself down. Be that critic that says, you know what, maybe you did this wrong, but let's learn how to do it better. You know, you have to talk life into yourself. Never suck out the life out of yourself, guys. You know, we have to figure out why we have um, that fear of, I can't do this. No, this is what we need to do. When you have that fear or you feel like you're being really hard on yourself and you're just like, oh, I can do it, but I can't do it. You know, your inner self is kind of pulling you in. Go back into your brain and think about a time in your life from childhood or maybe a couple weeks ago or a couple years ago. Think about a time when you felt like you were defeated, when you felt like you were being hard on yourself, but you got through it. For me, I would have to go back to my college times or even high school times when I used to run track. Do you know how many times I wanted to stop even in the middle of a race? even at championships, because I'm tired. <laughs> I was tired, you know, but during those times, I know that I can't stop. I can't stop in the middle of a race. No, I had to keep pushing. I had to keep going. And most of the times when I did keep going, keep pushing, I won because I was determined and I knew that I can achieve it. So guys, we had to stop being our own worst critic. Pat yourself on the back. Think about those times when you push through and know that this is another time that you can push through and you can keep on going. So you have to remember those things, guys. There's people out in the street that's going to kick your butt mentally and physically. So when you come home and you're in your, your own space, you can't be that person that does the same thing to the people, you know, like the people out in the street. You have to be your own safe haven. You know, stop being so hard on yourself. You can do it and know that you deserve it. All right, guys, key point number three. And this one, guys, we're going to be like Nike and we're just going to do it. That is key point number three. Just do it. Guys, we spend so much time thinking and thinking and thinking about, you know, what we want to go for that we think ourselves out of it. Go for it. Just do it. Don't think about it too much. As long as you know, okay, this is what I have to do. Let me just do it. Don't sit down and dwell on it. Think about it. 
and then you're not going to get anywhere guys go for it i don't know how else to say it just go for it just do it just put some action just run move your arms think about it all the time and just go for it you know sometimes when we think too deep we think just too much i don't even know how to get it like even elaborate on this because it's so much like just action towards this one you know like there's not much that i can say it's just all action so guys just do it okay so i'll give you guys the example let's say you know you're at the beach and the water looks so perfect but you are doubtful about getting in the water you know you're scared about getting in the water this is just you know a kind of example of just saying just do it instead of you know looking at the water going to put your toes in the, oh it's cold no just go and walk in the water just go or even a pool you know you're at the pool and the pool looks cold and you're scared and you know that it's going to be cold because most of the time pool water is cold instead of thinking about it and putting your toe in it just like at the beach no run jump in the water once you're in the water you're in the pool you did it you know when you think about things too much you second guess yourself you bring doubt in your brain and you don't do it so that's why i'm saying guys just do it sometimes everything doesn't need to be thought about you don't need a plan a through z what you need to do is just get up and just go just like jumping in the pool once you're in the pool yeah it's cold but your body adjusts once you go and do something yeah it may be hard for a minute but you will adjust you will conquer it we have to remember that it's not going to be easy in the beginning but as long as we get up and put some action towards it it will be better you know we we change we adapt as human beings so no matter what we get ourselves into we will adapt it will not be the unknown for long once we get into it and make it be known so guys just do it okay guys now let's talk about our fourth point with turning our doubt into determination i keep doing that i feel like this is just like a good way to describe determination like ah i'm working out <laughs> but anyway guys my fourth point is guys when we start something new know that you're not going to be a pro right from the start so that's my fourth point know that it takes time it's going to be a process you can't just jump into something and just think that you're going to be you know the guru so we have to remember that we are going to start from the bottom and Sometimes whatever we do, we do have to start from the bottom. We have to build those basic instincts. We have to build the basics first before we just think that we're going to be the pro, you know. So guys, you know, sometimes when you are starting from the bottom or you have to learn as you go, a lot of doubt can come to you. You're going to get frustrated because you are learning. There's going to be learning curves. There's going to be things that's going to be in your way that you're going to have to get over. So we have to remember that, you know, we have to take things as they are, take things one day at a time and keep pushing. We can't just expect us to say, you know what, I'm gonna be a professor. No, you gotta go through college, you gotta go to school, you gotta pass a couple of tests, you gotta start from the bottom up. So we have to remember that, you know, we have to climb that ladder and as long as we're climbing the ladder consistently and we know that this is what we really wanna do, we will get there. So don't think that you're gonna start from the top, we have to start from the bottom and work our way up. So that's part of it. Doubt will be there as you learn because you will be, you know, maybe even knocked down a couple times. But you got to use that doubt to push yourself up. Use that doubt to bring you up to make a determination. Like I said earlier, put that doubt in a gas, in a gas bottle and, you know, let that be your fuel. Let that be what gases you up to be a better person. So guys, just know, doubt can come in many forms. Doubt can even be there when you don't think it is. But when you feel and you know yourself, that's when you know how to say, all right, this is doubt that I have in my head. You know, I don't want to do this because I just think that, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. Or, you know, I'm being late because I really don't want to deal with this. No, take those things out of your head and go for it. Okay, guys, my last point with turning our doubt into determination is just simply believe in yourself, guys. You know, overall, no matter what you do in life, you have to believe in yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, there's going to be people outside of your outside of your circle, outside of your home, out on the streets that are going to doubt you. There's going to be people that's going to want you to see you fail. There's going to be people that, you know, that's going to want to see you do good. But no matter what, good or bad, you know, we have to believe in our own selves because we're on this path by ourselves. Despite having family members or whoever the case is, but you know, with us, guys, we're on this path, we're on this journey by ourselves. We have to say, 
that we want to be better for ourselves, better for our family. But first, we have to start with ourselves. Guys, once you believe in yourself and you know that you can do it and you're not going to let anything stop you and you know you want to make this change, then it will happen. As long as you use the other key points and, you know, really dig deep in yourself and know what you have to do to change and to really go and be determined, you will do it once you find out those things, guys. You know, no one is perfect. There is nothing perfect in life. But as long as we continue to push and practice positive things, push, practice positive things. I like that. Push, practice positive things. That's a tongue tie. We will be proactive. Oh, yeah, like that. Push, practice positive things to be proactive. Oh, I need to get that on t-shirt. <laughs> yes, people, I love you so much. I hope that this helped you guys. I hope that this helped, you know, enlightening or turn on that light bulb in your head because it definitely helped me when I thought about everything. And, you know, like I always say, guys, please share this. You never know how this can help someone else. Comment down below anything that you want to add to the conversation. Tell me how you turned your doubt to determination. Are there things that I didn't mention that, you know, you think that will help other people? Make sure you guys comment that down below. I want to see. I want, I want to see what you guys are going through. I want you guys to join in on the conversation. Also, guys, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, Peaceful Ambition. You guys can also follow my family channel, The Wise Family 5, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram also. Um, as you guys may know, my daughter, Akira, she also has a YouTube channel, Akira's View. Go ahead and subscribe to her. When she hits the thousand, we will be going live on her channel. So she's super excited and she's so close. So guys, help her reach 1K. Also guys, hit up my girl home with Simone. Go ahead and check her out and Boss Life Here Trucker. And y'all can't forget Daddy Wise, Dance Hall Critics. So hit them up guys. It takes nothing to click and subscribe. I thank you guys so much. We're going to turn all this down into determination and we're going to come out of this quarantine and come out of life on a positive note. I thank you guys also. Oh, before I go, visit peacefulpersons.com. Go ahead and check out the new merch. Well, new merch will be posted hopefully this weekend or very soon. I love you guys again. Peaceful ambition. Till next time. Bye. Stay peaceful.